it's let's say it's 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 percent the right pants 20 percent the right shoes 20 percent the right attitude 20 percent the right mascot and 20 percent hit song Right, that battle started up as uh, a green band with the covers and uh, the image and so on, and then suddenly took a turnaround and uh, got very hard with uh, the Atlas video and so on. Green as a, a sort of environmental, ethical, like political, eco platform. Is that what you mean? Uh, no. I eat whale in Oslo. I think the preppy thing's coming back, but sort of in a really vicious way, like like a preppy belt, but maybe made of like rare animal skin. And then I kicked the shit out of a baby sail in Stockholm. <laughs> but he did it like with a preppy sweater. <laughs> When I think of uh, Tonto and Atlas and so on, these tracks, it's uh, it's like very, uh, it's 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 kind of a chaos picture, but uh, there's uh, order in the chaos and the music. Uh, how come is uh, how come is that? Uh, how do you go to uh, go to this uh, kind of uh, tracks music? It's like a natural progression from the earlier stuff that we were working on, and when the band started, and the aesthetic that we had was organic, more organic. So. It was kind of a natural, like uh, a conscious decision to not be the band that has plants on their covers all the time, so you don't think that we're a green band. And then um, we just, it, it's just uh, the, we're, we were just dealing with other, other um, aesthetic decisions such as uh, repetition and, and in this, in our newer, our newer stuff. So like the Tonto video and you know, the Tonto video is more of a man versus machine type of metaphor and the um, Atlas video is about the, you know, works with repetition and some of the elements that we use in our music and representing those visually, so uh, that was kind of like where we ended up going and it doesn't mean we're going to stay there, it's just next next level. <laughs> You are, all of you are quite experienced uh, musicians and uh, got together in battles, uh, coming from different bands and so on. Yeah. Someone in particular in the band, uh, driving the, the band or making lyrics or music or, or what? No, it's a pretty democratic process. Everybody uh, writes music, everybody comes in with a lot of ideas. You know, we, we, we end up with a lot more ideas than we need and, and if anything it becomes an editing process and trimming things down. And uh, you know, everybody, everybody has a, a different musical background, which helps a bit because, uh, well, I mean, the hard thing is that everybody we see we all see things pretty differently. We have different tastes in music and stuff. But you know, so the challenge is synthesizing everybody's views. <laughs> Right now we're at Roskilde. Right now we are in the process of touring for the summer and doing some European festivals, which is something that we did, we had an, an opportunity only partially to take care of while we were touring on our album last year. So um, this is kind of like a finishing up that touring, and then um, we're going to start writing a new album in the fall, kind of fall, you know, just kind of. It's hard for us to write on the road, and uh, so we're just going <clears> to <throat> uh, take some time for ourselves to kind of uh, spend time in the studio and write some songs and, you know, prepare the next album. What can we expect from your new album? Pure, pa absolute pandemonium. <laughs> just, uh, I, I, I think people are going to start to have to wear, we're going to, in the packaging, it's going to have to come with a adult diaper. It's going to be so awesome that people are just going to shit their pants the first time they hear it. Really looking forward to that. When can we expect to see the album out? 
uh, we don't really talk about that stuff yet. It's not it's not necessary to get into when you know predicting when something's going to be out. It's more important to write something with quality than to try to stay on top of what a journalist wants to say. Something could come out just to have a catchphrase with the band.